Hello, my name is Greg Clark and I'm a Wikitree member and an app developer and I would like to show you today the latest update to the Six Degrees app. So to go to the Six Degrees app, the easiest way from is from the Wikitree homepage or any page that you're on Wikitree actually. Go to the Find menu and choose Apps and then there's the list of all the web apps that have been created and Six Degrees is one of those. So we just have to scroll down because they're arranged alphabetically now and click on Six Degrees and it will load up the app. If you're already logged into the Wikitree server, then it will recognize your name and start loading the information based on that and going out to your profiles. The purpose of the Six Degrees app is to collect all of the people who are related to you up to six degrees out. So that's uh, one degree out would be your parents, siblings, spouse, and children. And then their parents, siblings, spouses, and children um, would be the next degree and so on and so on. So as I was explaining that to you, you may have noticed that these numbers under here, under degree two, three, four, five, six, change from zeros to the numbers that are filled in. And so now, so in this current default diagram with just one degree, uh, I have nine connections at one degree, and then I can add more. And so as I go all the way out by clicking on this stepper up here for under connections to the top level, there you can see all 548 connections. If I click on one of these gray dots, the gray dots are represent people who are or profiles of people who are direct ancestors. So you see Marie-Louise Chabot um, is my four times great-grandmother, one of many. And uh, if I click on one of the gold dots, I'm going to get Yvonne Lantang here, and she is related through marriage. Um, so my great-grandmother's brother's son's wife. <laughs> so um, lots of ways that people are connected and um, now you'll notice so this little information card uh, you can scroll it around move it anywhere you want um, or click the x to get rid of it if i click on another connection out here there's uh, someone who's connected through my my wife's italian family and if i want to get rid of the card another way to get rid of it quickly is just to press it on the keyboard um, so, in the original version of the app, there were a number of ways of, sh of displaying it. If you didn't want just the dots, if you wanted a little bit more information on who the people are, you could show their first initials, um, or all of their initials, three or four initials, um, even their first name. Uh, now, with this latest update, there is an additional way to display that information, and if you click on all, you will get their first and last name, as well as the, their year of birth and death, if that's recorded in their Wikitree profile. So, um, and again, the color, the color coding is exactly the same. So gold are those at the six degree level. The, the gray outlines are direct ancestors. Um, another way to get rid of that card, if you don't want it, is you just double click. One click shows it, one click dis um, hides it. Um, the other thing that's new is that along for any of those that have text involved, so the AABC first name all, you now have the option to use the hol uh, have a hollow um, circle, or um, or you could have a, a solid color so that they stand out a little more, um, or if you want a black and white version so that it prints out better if you were doing a printout. Uh, let me just go back to, I'll go to ABC and color. See, that's kind of a neat looking diagram there now. Uh, someone described this as sort of the ring of pearls uh, <laughs> format. So that's kind of cool. Um, now, the biggest change or the biggest update for this new, uh, the new version of Six Degrees is the ability to view your, tr your connections in a family tree format. So I'm going to click on that and what you're going to see, and let me just switch back to dot mode because then 
you see the huge family tree. Now that's pretty big and complicated and I've got a smaller, let me just reduce the number here. There we go. So at four degrees, so there's parents, grandparents, great grandparents and great, great grandparents, right? So parents, grandparents, great, great, great grandparents. There we are. Right, Margaret Bell is my great, great grandmother. Four degrees out, there we go. And again, we can use, we could show them the, all the information. Uh, in tree diagram mode, you'll notice that along with the first and last name, you also see their marriage date or the year of marriage in, uh, in between in the connecting lines. So you could use this to print out uh, a family tree diagram for an upcoming family reunion or just for yourself if you want to see uh, what uh, what uh, people you have in your tree and where the holes are and what you're looking for. A um, couple other things that you can do um, in the settings you can change your the script or the font type and maybe I'll just go back to this mode uh, and you can toggle the main person, no, really her, uh, has the photo you, you may or may not wish to turn that on or off. So you can toggle that on and off. And uh, then also under other views, if you want to go to vis visit the dynamic tree, one click on that will load up the dynamic tree for the person who has to be logged in. So apparently I'm not logged in at the moment. It logged me out. I'll, but that would uh, do that. Oh, I'm in incognito mode while I'm recording. That is why. So, uh, and again, if you want to view the family tree, you can click on save as a simple PDF and that will give you just the chart itself. Now, see, I'm in a pretty, it's a pretty wide chart. So you could zoom right in and see. Um, or if you clicked on, let me go back to ring mode, for example and then you click save PDF with legend, and then you get the chart as well as the legend at the top. And at the very bottom, that actually has a, a date, so you know exactly when this was created. Um, so those are most of the features. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you find something that's not working, or you wish to um, give me a future, future feature request for a future version, uh, under the help menu, you can always click on contact author and a little form will pop up, which will send me a private message. So thank you for doing that. Uh, that always helps getting feedback. And that's all I have to say. So hope you enjoy using the app and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.